Hey defenders, welcome back to our channel. So today we have something really, really interesting. Let me ask you this. When you want to hack a computer, okay, assume you are a hacker, right? When you want to hack a computer, maybe a computer that is sitting out in the US or UK, say you are in India and you want to hack it, what would you do? You would need vulnerability that should be available on the remote system with the exploit you will hack it, right? What if I told you all you need is just a monitor that the end users to have so that you can hack them. How sweet is that, right? It is really incredible for me to think of this because I think at least more than 7 billion, 8 billion monitors are across there on the internet, right? And easily around 1 billion uh, monitors are vulnerable to this attack. This attack is called the uh, monitor darkly attack. They call it monitor darkly attack. This attack was found by one Mr. Ang Kui, right? He is the founder and chief scientist of this company called Red Balloon Security, right? And the interesting part here, right? I want you to understand this. Those age when we were actually starting to get acquainted with computers, we were using CRT monitors. CRT monitors are the cathode ray tube monitors, which were bulky monitors with the tubes inside, etc. We had to power it with a certain level of voltages. Eventually what happened, you have uh, LED, OLED uh, and other new, uh, you know, types of monitors they were coming in, right? They were very slim, thin monitors, unlike the huge CRT monitors, right? So what happens here is this attack is so interesting. You have to understand this, right? So monitors, when you're talking about monitors, unlike the monitors that are connected with your laptop, I'm talking about monitors that are standalone monitors, right? That are connected with your computer. So these monitors are hardware, right? They show whatever input you give, they show that. That's, that's all about it, right? What if I told you this output medium called the monitor also has certain input mediums in that, yes. This, this may be new to you, but yeah, a monitor also has some input uh, mediums there and I would not call it an input medium. It is an output medium, but they have certain input mechanism in place. For example, think of this. You are giving input to the monitor by increasing, decreasing the brightness, changing the color, contrast, you know, all of that can be changed, which is the input that you give to the monitor and monitor changes it, right? But let me tell you, every single monitor has something called a controller inside the monitor, right? This controller takes care of, uh, you know, multiple aspects, including of voltage, including of firmware, including of the software that runs the uh, monitor. Or I, I would preferably say it is a firmware that runs the monitor. Now, let me tell you, th those days when I got started, there was something called the monitor fry attack, right? Where attacker would take control of the monitor's controller which is a part of the monitor right and run an arbitrary code which could enable a remote code execution inside the controller where usually those those times the monitors the cathode ray tube monitors uh, the input that you give is usually 110 volts to 220 volts right as an input to the monitor but apparently after crossing the PCV and all the controllers and everything, the actual voltage that is supplied to that tube is either 5 volts or 12 volts or 19 volts. <clears throat> right? These are usually the input voltages that are supplied there. It steps down the voltage and sends it. But the interesting part here is, Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more tech insights on cybersecurity.